Hey you, it's Sun Chung from Hungry Gopher. Today, you're going to learn the importance of mindfulness when eating. When I had gut health problems with highly inflammatory chronic health issues, such as skin problem, just raw and itchy red skin, and joint and muscle problems, and just mysterious weight gains, especially around my belly, I had a lot of pain whenever I ate. Whenever I ate something, there was pain in the gut, and I felt mostly bloated, and my digestion wasn't very good, and I even lost control of bowel movement a few times, and that was very embarrassing. Um, it made me very shy, even very afraid to go out in public, because when there was no public restroom nearby, it made me anxious. Um, so why mindfulness eating can help you with this? is that when I implemented mindfulness eating, it calms down my system that it really reduced the pain in the stomach when I ate it, and my digestion got a lot better, and my, observe, like my body is able to observe this good nutrition a lot better, and overall my mood improved and my energy improved, and so much less pain in the stomach, and these days I can eat anything I want pretty much um, without worrying about it. So why is that? Because 80% of your immune system is located in your gut and for good reason, gut is called second brain. So when you're not mindful, you're not there to notice even taste food. So let me give you an example. So if you're having an argument with your spouse, you're eating like most healthy superfood, let's say kimchi, because kimchi is one of the world's superfood. You eat that and you're having an argument with your loved one, then your stomach just turns upside down, right? Uh, there's a helicopter going by, right? That's a real life. So your stomach turns upside down and you're, you feel nauseous and your digestion just shuts off because that in the background, you're becoming mindlessness, mindless, so that you, all, your digestive, all your digestive juice goes somewhere else because you, you get into the mode that fight or flight. So all the energy goes to your arms and legs because your body is getting, getting warning signs that you got to run or fight. You don't want to be in the mode when you're eating. You want to be mindful when you're eating. When, you're, when you become mindfulness when you're eating, it's, it, all the digestive juice is preparing, getting prepared for you because the eating itself is actually, the digestion is a lot of work for the body. It takes a lot of energy. So now your rest and rejuvenate time, it's gonna be ready to digest all this good food for you so your body can now actually observe all this goodness. So very simple tool that I can give you is when you're eating, notice what you're eating. Literally bring back to your senses. One of my health and wellness students talked about this, that when she's eating, she's not even chewing. Sometimes she notices that she just like swallows. She doesn't even chew. That's mindlessness. So you want to be mindful when you're eating and the way to do it, it's not, you cannot tell yourself, I'm going to be mindful. That doesn't work that way because it's you're running in the background. Use your senses. Okay, what does this food taste like? Like your wine tasting. What, oh, am I picking up some spiciness? Is it salty? Is it a little sour? Pick up all these little nuances and bring yourself your respect to senses that way your body will start coming down again. That calms down your immune system and that's become a part of being mindful when eating. So try that. And also having delicious food that you enjoy eating, having novelty of food that the flavor you've never tried is an awesome part to be mindful because your brain loves novelty and gut is called second brain for good reason because they're always talking. So the fun way to try is download, follow the link below this video and download 
top three Korean and tea imprint to recipes or top three easy kimchi recipes for gut health and try one of them. I mean, the cucumber kimchi, it literally takes five minutes to make. Give it a try. That exotic flavor, that new newness, your brain and gut loves a novelty. That's how I become mindful. So hopefully this inspired you and you can find more of my gut healing journey and mindfulness eating journey at hungrygopper.com and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.